The monetization of YouTube Shorts will revolutionize the industry and change the lives of a generation of new creators. Right? So I don't think anybody expected to get rich from YouTube Shorts, but at the same time, $15 from 400,000 views at an RPM of 0.03 cents is a little stingy. And here's what's even more bizarre. When our YouTube shorts weren't monetized, we actually earned more revenue from them. I'll try to explain that one a little later. Because first, there is some good news. If you have monetized your channel the traditional way through 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time, then your shorts are eligible for monetization. You don't have to stress about that ludicrous figure of 10 million YouTube Shorts views in 90 days. In other words, it doesn't matter how you get into the YouTube Partner Program. Once you do, everything is monetized. For example, we have never come close to 10 million YouTube Shorts views over 90 days. But because we're already monetized, our Shorts do benefit from ad revenue. And on top of that, the income from your YouTube Shorts monetization is more predictable and guaranteed. Remember the Shorts Creator Fund that randomly paid out bonus amounts but left you wondering if you would get paid from month to month and how much? Well, all of that is gone. Now you can track how much your Shorts are making every single day, just like ad revenue from long form videos. Having said that, and despite all of its problems, for some creators, the YouTube Shorts Fund was actually better than what they've ended up with. Yeah, we'll get back to that one as well. Before that, let me show you how to find your Shorts earnings. In the Desktop YouTube Studio, go to the Revenue tab on the Analytics page and then switch this information panel to Shorts and there you go. And now let's have a little fun with this RPM. So if we were to take an RPM of 3 cents for every 1,000 views and match it up with YouTube's minimum requirements of 10 million Shorts views every three months, that would mean you would earn in 90 days, $300. And when you compare this to the ad revenue on 10 million long form video views, well, uh... But here's the thing, according to our example, YouTube have calculated the numbers perfectly. In order to get paid out in AdSense revenue, you need to have at least $100 in your YouTube account. So it makes complete sense that the minimum requirements for YouTube Shorts monetization would result in around about $100 a month. But of course, that RPM of three cents just represents our channel. If you've got some numbers that are different, let us know in the comments below. So you might be asking yourself at this point, why is your share of the revenue so small? Well, in order to find that out, we need to look at this dauntingly complex support page, which I'll link to just below the like button. You know things are gonna get pretty rough when a support page needs to include a hypothetical example of ad revenue payment that looks like this. But I think I've found three important aspects to try and pull out from all of this. First of all, creators have to share their revenue with music partners if they decide to add music to their shorts. Second of all, the revenue earned is split between all eligible creators in each country. That to me sounds like a capped limit on potential earnings. But perhaps the most striking part of this support page is YouTube's own illustration of this inverted pyramid that shows you exactly where you are in the system, at the bottom of a pile. From the revenue that YouTube earns from its ads, it has to flow through all of these mechanisms before a tiny slice of it reaches your pocket. Now at this point, it is important to stress and underline that it's better than nothing, it's probably better than TikTok for most creators, but it still isn't very much. And on top of all of this, the new shorts monetization structure has had what I'm calling unintended consequences on existing shorts content to devastating effects, especially in our channel. Take a look at this. This is a snapshot of revenue on some of our shorts in January. But look at what happens on the 1st of February when YouTube switches over to the new monetization system for shorts. Everything literally flatlines. The revenue goes from a couple of dollars a day to less than 10 cents a day on our short. Now this short in particular took an absolute pasting. In the 90 days prior to February, it had earned $140 at an RPM of $1.64, which is fantastic for a 59 second video. But then when we hit February, 
disaster. To find out the cause, we had to dig into the revenue source of the video. And what we discovered was that in January, the video made all of its money from watch page ads. But then in the following month, it earned absolutely nothing from watch page ads and only a tiny amount from YouTube's new monetization system, the Shorts feed. You see, the secret power of this YouTube short is that it wasn't just being seen on the Shorts shelf. It was also being seen through search and external to YouTube, probably on Google search. That meant it could earn a lot more revenue outside of the short shelf, but apparently not anymore. And so that is why the revenue from our YouTube shorts from January to February for the same amount of views has plummeted 90%. Trying to find where YouTube mentioned this in their support pages, and I just can't, it's just not there. Who can receive a shorts bonus? Creators who make original shorts on YouTube may receive a bonus, even creators who aren't in the YouTube partner program. That was the cool thing about the Shorts Fund. No matter how big or indeed how small a creator was, everybody had a chance. But now, if you only create YouTube Shorts, the barrier to entry is astronomical. And that has meant some previously pretty successful Shorts channels aren't earning a single cent. Take this cycling channel. A couple of years ago, just like many other creators who were unsure how shorts would impact their channel, they created a spin-off shorts dedicated channel that has gone on to gain over 50 million views and they have earned several shorts bonus injections of cash over the last year, which is great. But, and this sounds so unlucky, 10 million of those YouTube shorts views haven't come in the last three months. So this channel doesn't meet the new requirements for monetization. 52 million views, 185,000 hours of watch time, and nearly 19,000 subscribers, and this channel can't get monetized? I don't know about you, but that sounds a little absurd. It does make you wonder how many more YouTube Shorts channels there are like this out there who are falling through these monetization cracks in such a brutal, and cruel fashion. So what have we learned about YouTube Shorts monetization? Well, based purely on the data from month one, it sucks. But given the current economic landscape of short form video content, this shouldn't come as a surprise. It is but one step, and it's a step in the right direction. Don't forget that you can earn super thanks from your shorts, and much more importantly, and I believe far more lucratively, if YouTube can implement a shopping experience into shorts, that is gonna be the game changer. And if you simply don't care about ad revenue, then shorts continue to be one of the biggest opportunities to get seen and grow fast on YouTube. But in the meantime, go on, show us your YouTube shorts. Oh, it's brilliant, you're dancing. Oh, it's so good.